This is just a quick little update on my clown load tank. As you can see, I kind of have my water parameters back in check. Um, it looks like our tap water had a lot of nitrates coming in. Um, after doing a couple of water changes and staying on top of this, it looks like it's the nitrates are back down to about 10 parts per million. And my clown lotions are doing great. They got their color back and they're back to doing what they do best, which is being clowns. As you can see, they're, they're big and they're active and they're only being recorded. And I just cleaned the water, so I have a bunch of bubbles everywhere. But um, my jungle valve is doing good in here, and for some reason now it's not. But um, so my clown loaches is about, I think I have nine in there. And then I have my awesome gold severum. He's always just hanging out, doing his thing. I have some bristle nose in here. They always like to pick out on all this driftwood. Also have one of these catfish in there. Always hanging out in there. That's a spot. Another clown loach over there in my Acostumous little cave. There's a whole bunch of catfish actually inside of this log. But my clown loach is just hanging out. They don't like being recorded. It's actually the first time I recorded them and they don't go crazy. But as you can see, they're pretty healthy. I like to keep this water with a lot of oxygen because I like to keep it at 82 degrees. So I have all the bubbles in there just to kind of give me some um, peace of mind that the oxygen levels aren't too low on this tank. But as you can see, my clown is super healthy, super fat. Well, maybe they're not too healthy because some of them are a little chubby in there. That blood worm diet. But as you can see earlier, they were just hanging out right here on this, on this driftwood right here, just upside down being goofy. And as soon as I started recording them, they start acting a little crazy. As you can see here, and all their barbs. Hanging out. Kind of a boring tank, because my tiger barbs are probably the only things that move in there. I was thinking about buying like a couple of more just so they can kind of school a little bit so these these two just all they do is fight but kind of bummed that my jungle valve kind of started dying off it's Harley Quinn in the background me and my daughter kind of set up this tank and we we're kind of just wanted to do something different for a background and that's how we ended up with Harley Quinn These guys, I feed them a lot of vegetables and a lot of blood worms. I used to um, just throw the frozen blood worms in there. And um, I think that was one of the reasons too that my nitrates were going crazy in here. Now I just um, let the blood worms defrost in a cup and then I net them out, kind of rinse them out a little bit and then I throw them in here. But um, the nitrates are finally going down. This tank is finally balancing itself out. But just, I put some root tabs in here and let's see if this thing comes back, but I don't know. Jungle Bell is usually pretty hardy, but this one right here, I don't know. It has plenty of light. And then this one's doing good on this side. So I don't know what happened over here. But there's my gold grommy. Kind of hangs out with this big brother over here. And Here's the, here's the gang again. Kind of want to buy them a bigger tank. 
see how they always hang out right here on this piece of driftwood. Actually, two pieces, and they just go crazy. All right, well, I'm gonna turn off the camera now because I don't think I think they're get camera shy. But yeah, I rarely show this fish tank. I'm more into my guppies actually, but clown loaches are my favorite fish. So maybe I'll start doing more videos on this once I kind of figure out what kind of plants to put in here because I am not having good luck with plants in here because these guys destroy everything. Anyways, until the next video, thank you for watching.